Bobcats. Bobcats. My name is Robert A. Bobcat. My name is Narita S. Albies. And today's Tuesday, January, January 14, 14, 2020. 2020. Here is the news. For this terrific Tuesday. First of all, big up basketball game today, home game, yep. uh, final home game of the year for the boys. They play against Avondale, um, and the game stops at 4 o'clock, so come on out and support the Bobcats. Uh, Thursday will be their final game at Larson, so yes. that's it. And what about volleyball? Um, volleyball trials are January 27th, yes. and there's an open gym, open gym this Thursday, January 16th, which we're going to try out, be there. See Mrs. Barbot if you have any questions. She is yes. the 7th grade coach, yes. Also, uh, for all girls interested in playing IM volleyball, the first practice is Tuesday, February 11th. Get the forms outside room 205, Miss Hughes is going. Yes. What did the uh, um, volleyball say to the basketball player? Go Bobcats! No! He said, I am volleyball. Get it? I am volleyball? So I am volleyball starts uh, outside the street. Oh, I am, I am. Oh, oh! See what I did there? Okay, keep going. Wait, wait. And don't forget, the lacrosse meeting is tonight at 7 p.m. in the cafeteria. The Troy Terps, if you're interested, boys or girls. So for all middle school girls who are playing basketball, um, there's a middle school night uh, this Friday, January 17th, for Troy High's game against Lake Orion. All middle school students will have free admission uh, to the game if they wear apparel from their respective schools. So wear your basketball shirt or a Baker shirt. Yes, come on out Friday. Oh, it's very jumpy today, it seems. Yes, very jumpy. I'm so excited. Uh, and here's the last little sports thing, is the pep assembly honoring all the Yay. Winter One sports. Is this Thursday? And it is for sure. Um, I talked to Mr. Cross. I talked to Mrs. Connaughton. We are going to do the third annual Green versus White basketball game. Okay. So the boys' basketball will get to show off their skills. And we will have some special players, including staff players, um, some sixth grade IM players, Crowd some players. girls players, and yes, crowd players, so you may be in the game, any of you have a chance to be in the game. If you uh, want to, if you want to. And uh, so wear this Thursday, wear your green or wear your white, whatever yes. team that you think uh, you want to win, or just wear green and white, just support Baker Sports and wear yes. our Baker colors. We're something. Um, also, uh, book club meets Wednesday morning, tomorrow morning at 7.30 in room 107. Yes. And uh, don't forget about the Troy Berry Challenge, one science fiction or non-fiction or an award winner, scan the QR code, get points for Baker. Yes, and what about MLK Day? Next Monday is MLK yes. Day. No school, however, it will be a day of service. So yes. everyone is invited to come. Uh, where is it at? Troy Athens, Athens High School. Athens. Um, it's uh, J it's Monday, January 20th. Uh, it starts at 9, there's breakfast at 8.30, and uh, the service projects start immediately afterwards. Yes, and um, if you look outside the office, there's some donations. We really need lots of donations. Fleece, um, plastic bags, all these different things, because they have all kinds of projects for kids, for adults, um, and it's a day to help others. And you can uh, bring your family, it doesn't just have to Yes, do. it's a great time and uh, a great service. So, MLK Day coming yep. up next Monday. All right, is that it? Yep, that's it. All right, we have a PSA to end the day, um, and health. it is on, yes, mental health, uh, which is more and more of an issue. Um, so, check this one out. It was made by Mr. Quinn's Video Tech Class, um, and it will hopefully help you um, deal with mental, mental health, health issues, which we all have sometimes. Yes. Let's, let's admit it, we're all a little bit sad and depressed. But I'm not depressed at all right now, because I'm so excited for all the good stuff. Because he's with me, that's why he's And I'm with Nareda, yeah. my buddy. Okay. Daddy. That's it. Yep. We'll see you tomorrow. Have a great day, guys. See you at the basketball game. Bye-bye. Every 40 seconds, someone commits suicide. Let that sink in. One in six U.S. youth aged 6 to 17 experience mental health disorders. Mental health disorders are associated with more than 90% of all suicide. It's a child. High school students with mental illness are two times as likely to drop out. It's always important to remember, you know, your life doesn't start and stop in one place, that stress can impact you no matter where you're at or what environment you're in. Um, some things students can do uh, is deep breathing exercises to help regulate um, your blood flow and your muscles. Um, you can do that before a test or if you're ever feeling stressed or overwhelmed. Um, other things include, you know, developing a routine so that you are in charge of your time, you know what to expect moving forward, you plan for some flexibility. So having that routine is really being proactive to any stress that you may encounter. And the last thing, and this is kind of like a fun thing, but uh, positive reinforcement. So you know that includes like some positive self-talk, encouraging yourself, knowing that you're going to try to always do your best, having positive people around you, having um, you know friends that encourage you and help you make good choices to be the best you.
7.2% of people in our country have chronic depression. That's 17.7 million. Make Mental Health Central. Brought to you by Baker Video Tech.